Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm the director of agronomy for Chorby. We get a lot of questions this time of the spring when we see St. Augustine that's coming up. It's got a um, really yellow colored leaf. Um, we call this chlorosis. And most often it's a simple matter of a micronutrient deficiency. But this lawn is under a pretty uh, heavy uh, fertility treatment. So I would be really, uh, I would be really surprised to see that this was uh, any kind of nutrient deficiency on a lawn that's got a, a, a decent fertilizer program. Also, just a pretty cursory examination. These above ground stems are called stolons, and I see black lesions up and down that stolon, which gives me an idea of what it may be. But to be sure, the best thing to do is to bag up a sample of this. I've collected a few, and what I'm gonna wanna get are these areas that are marginal, where you see healthy grass growing with yellow grass or even dead grass. A sample with just crispy brown dead grass is going to be very difficult for a pathology lab to be able to uh, to culture. Um, so we're going to get some different samples of these stolons. We're going to get these sent off to the, Plex the Texas Plant Disease Diagnostic Lab at Texas a and I'll include the link uh, below. Um, and they have some really specific instructions on how to bag up these samples how to box them up and refrigerate them and get them to them. And it's not very expensive. It is the most sure way to make sure that you know what you're dealing with if there is a disease running around. Visual evidence on these things is the weakest type. So while a turf grass manager may get, uh, may get comfortable with seeing certain common diseases, it doesn't mean that we wouldn't want to send it off to a lab just to confirm that. Um, additionally, um, we would like to go ahead and take a soil sample it's going to be what tells us whether there's a, a, a nutrient deficiency that would um, be out of what we would expect. Um, so what I'm doing is just taking a couple of samples. And normally you'll take those from around the, the, the property in a few different locations. Um, you'll take those samples at about a four inch depth, get kind of a, a, an average of different areas, and just get these things bagged up. And we'll send also send this off to Texas A&M.